over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Scheduled to go the full 10 if we get that far. Round one underway. Very nice defensive guard there. A little head hunting with the right. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Well, throughout his battles of the heavyweight division, he has seen this before. Muhammad Ali tonight facing an inside fighter. And what he does, Joe, he's not an inside fighter, Muhammad Ali. He likes to fight and use his great strengths where they belong to be used, on the outside. Ali on the inside, you never see him go to the body. You never see him really do much. He'll shoe shine once in a while. If he has to, he'll grab and wait until the referee puts them outside again. Ali's well him. off the mark that time. Well placed left hand there. Halfway through this round here. He missed with that headshot. Goes up top with the right hand. Boy, sharp two punch combination by Muhammad Ali. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. There's that southpaw jab in the left hand. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. A headshot block. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Muhammad Ali. Nice work doubling up that jab. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Muhammad Ali. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down blue or red corner what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. Good, strong combo. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Ali's been hurt by that shot. He got rocked. He just got rocked. What a big shot. Menacing midsection shot there. Down he goes. know what Muhammad Ali has left but I do know this he's getting up and he's gonna find out there's the headshot but he parries it away good solid right hand by Muhammad Ali halfway through this round big left hand from Ali Muhammad Ali's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Stay on the outside. Keep your Lands flush with the combination upstairs. Can you believe that? What a change in momentum. He just got rocked moments ago. He was the one hurting his opponent. Reminds you of the song, I can do anything you can do, only better. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Stay on the inside. He pushed it. Good job snapping out that jab. You know, if you're watching Muhammad Ali, you know you need a jab to move on the outside. But if you're coming forward, you need a jab, and there's proof of it. Ali's punch didn't come close. Listen, that's the kind of round that puts fans on their feet, but the kind of round that gets a corner man anxious. What do you tell a guy after he's been in a back and forth brawl like that? Move your head, keep your hands up, you know, don't get caught with those shots. We worked in the gym to get away from those shots. And one other thing, you gotta give a little confidence in mind. If we train for a tough fight, you're ready for this. Unable to connect by Muhammad Ali. Ali's out there for another round after being knocked down in the last round. 
seconds. We know what happens in the 60 seconds with a fighter who was damaged, but what about those 60 seconds uh, in the opposing corner, Ted? You know, Joe, that's a great question. And I remember my mentor, Customato, when we were training fighters, he used to always say, look, you know you're a banger, and this guy happens to be a banger. Well, if you hit a guy clean, you know you hurt him. But he's not going to show you. He's going to act like a pro. He's going to con you. He's going to act like that didn't hurt him. But you have to remember, hey, it hurt him. So go after him like he showed it, even if he's not showing it. And now a little combination punching, landing both shots. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Flush right hand to the head. Getting comfortable with that jab, isn't he? Comes right back at him with a left hand. Very accurate work. Three punch combination serves him well. For you now, he says, right back with the left hand. Right to the head with that right. It's okay, let's go. Finish with the hook. Round number four underway, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. There he goes with the right hand again. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Solid left. Well off the mark by Muhammad Ali. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Putting his punches together, landing two shots there. That's it! Ali's swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. And now he's targeting upstairs. You got this one! Double jab right to the face. Big shot, the left press. Solid! A good sniping punch. That back power hand just scored the knockdown. Get up! One! Get up! Get Two! Up. Down he goes. Now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on. Kill a little time. Good step back. Counter punch there. Beautiful. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Good accurate work there after blocking that blow. Ali's opponent is having a field day, Teddy. That left hand lands again. Well, he keeps moving the wrong direction. He needs to move away from that punch. The tactical game paying off. You can see the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, Bang, it gets caught. Hits him in the mug with the right. Combo lands upstairs. Commits to the straight right. Good start to this round, much like the way he finished the last round. Well, he's taking advantage of that, and give him credit for thinking about that. He realizes that his opponent might still be a little dazed, so he's not giving him a chance to recover. He's testing him again. Excellent one-two by Muhammad Ali. <laughs> and he just holds on there. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. A 
Muhammad Ali with a nice block and a counter shot. Crashes home with the uppercut. Ali's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Holy cow, look at this. Back and forth they go. There's no stop. You don't know how good you are until you push. You push to the break. They are finding out right now how special they can be. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Don't let him get to you, kid. Well, if the second half of this fight is anything like the first half we just witnessed, then, oh boy, is it going to be fun watching this fight down the stretch. And I don't think it can change. These guys came here with a certain attitude, a certain mindset, and it's not going to be able to change now. There's no way of all of a sudden in mid-fight being able to go to a defensive fight or a different strategy. What you see is what you get, and you're going to get it the rest of the night. Good return fire that time. Ali's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Targeting that jab with the right hand behind it. There's a good right hand. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. There's no denying he's having a lot of success with the hooks right now. But, in a way, is there a concern because of that? Yeah, he's being satisfied only with that punch, Joe. I'm glad you brought that up. You know, we used to tell the fighters in the gym, if you can hit a guy with two or three, why hit him with one? Right now, he's being satisfied just to hit him with that one hook. What should he be adding to it? Put the right hand with it. Left hook, right hand, or even double up the left hook. Two for the price of one. Great work offensively landing that combination by Muhammad Ali. Good looking counter punch. Muhammad Ali's opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Very accurate with the double jab. Don't stand. Here we go. Action to start the seventh round. Muhammad Ali's corner was giving him a lot of encouragement after that last round. He clearly won that last round, and they know now this is a chance to get back in this fight. Yeah, they were just in a storm. You know, they were out in the boat in a storm. There was a lot of waves coming. You know, it was, it was a little iffy for a while there, but they got past the worst of it. Now there's a little bit of calm sea. Now what you got to do is put those sails up it, and move like forward. That. that overhand right no head movement and he's getting tagged did you see that and he goes down for a second time does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on one two three four He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Very good, steady double jab there. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Good jab by Muhammad Ali. I shake it off. Ali's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. He is damaged. 
finished badly there. He may hit the floor. Big, big shot he just scored with. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's all over. Ali's corner is already celebrating. His opponent unable to beat the count.